Astronaut Drew Morgan once said, when you pursue your passion, you harness motivation and create the energy and stamina you'll need to follow a tough path. When you do what you love, you greatly increase the probability for success. But what if you never had the opportunity to pursue your passion? What if you never had the chance to choose your own path and do what you love most? How much more do we have to add on that pre-existing toughness when we want a space career, but we're not coming from a space-bearing nation? I come from a developing country in the Balkan region, where we never really had a space agency or a space industry, no space heroes to look up to and learn from, and no extensive space education to inspire you or fuel your curiosity when you're little. Our ability to dream was limited because of constant instability of the region. Becoming a space figure in the space sector, in the eyes of some of my fellow countrymen, was impossible. It was outrageous. A Macedonian woman trying to become a space leader? That was absolutely crazy. On top of that, I had to fight with borders and boundaries, which were determined by what type of a passport I hold or where I'm coming from, which further determined my involvement, success path, and the career in the space sector. It didn't matter how talented I am, or how good of an engineer I excelled to be. I still couldn't pursue what I loved most directly. I had to overcome extra obstacles and bureaucracy hoops if I wanted any involvement in the space industry at all. So essentially, I couldn't pursue what I loved most within my region or outside of it. So what was I left to do then? Well, luckily for me, I was stubborn, so I made a firm decision. First, I will incorporate myself in the space sector no matter what, successfully, which I did. And second, I will do the best I can with this life to be of use and aid developing countries so I can attach them to the space sector to the best of my ability. You see, I just couldn't let my country be a status quo anymore for people just like me. If you cannot join an ecosystem successfully, then perhaps you can influence your surroundings and create an ecosystem on your very own. Motivated by this, during my time at Florida Tech, together with Dr. Andrew Aldrin, we've devised the model of four key elements that will attach your region to the space sector more easily. If done persistent enough and over a longer period of time, it's going to be an easier way towards the space sector or the space industry that you want to develop, or any other industry for that matter that you please. And do you want to know the secret? I will teach you these four simple steps right now so you can implement them too, so you can develop your own space industry or any other industry you please. Number one. Create excitement for space exploration amongst the young generations. What does this mean? This means that you should give your youth a voice. The young people need a platform, so put them in the mainstream media and feed their mind with it. If you give space leaders like me a deciding power with our hard work, innovative ideas, and enthusiasm, we can populate the field. That will naturally press the relevant institutions to create more options for the youth. And while we're at it, it's also smart to change the education. Now, I'm not sure if you know, but countries that never had a space agency, space industry, etc., we only get a few pages about space exploration in our school books if we're lucky enough. So change the curriculum early on. 
and enrich it with STEM and space knowledge and show how space and STEM enrich and benefit Earth and drive innovation forward. You can even do creative things and outreach activities such as hackathons, talks, webinars. Number two, get people together to carefully craft your space industry. Imagine a future forged through international cooperation where new businesses emerges and new industries are just getting born because of your youth collaborating with international teams. If you push your young people and space professionals to contribute to worldwide teams and experience the global space ecosystem, they will bring their knowledge home. This will also help with the experience gap and knowledge gap, but also the brain drain that our region usually faces and other developing regions too. So get those people back home and listen to what they have to say. Chances are, if they immerse themselves successfully in the space industry, they had to undergo the same obstacles that your region has to undergo too. So you will have a smoother transition. And with this, you also have access to world experts and leaders. So you can benefit from that and they can give you unique solutions for your unique problems while becoming more aware about other developing countries. Number three, attach space to your niche industry. Now, if you're having an industry that is doing remarkably well and your region is known for that, it is wise to drive research and development, development towards that direction. If you want your country to walk its first steps Towards a, towards a successful path of space exploration, then doing just one thing successfully can often do the trick and create liftoff towards the space industry. I am biased because of my degree, but I personally think that my region and my country has an amazing potential for additive manufacturing, material engineering, and nanotechnology. So, here on Earth, you can synthesize reproduce dust that looks like moon dust. That reproduced or synthesized moon dust can be paired with other materials, and later it can be used with 3D printing to build habitats or, shel or shelters on the moon. So what if my country was amongst the pioneers in this endeavor? See my point? That's exactly how you attach space to your niche industry and with that, your country towards space exploration. Number four, ask your neighbors for help. We are Balkan. We often ask our neighbors for help for anything from borrowing sugar to preparing for the winter collectively together. We go above and beyond for our people, from pre preparing our winter delicacy, Ivar, to cutting timber together. So, why don't we ask our neighbors for help for regional development too? We can't compare our regions to space-leading nations. Instead, we can see what works around us, recognize those models, adapt, and implement them. A good approach would be your neighbor Slovenia. Just go to Slovenia and ask, hey Slovenia, can I copy your homework? No worries, I'll make sure I change it just a little bit so it's not obvious that I just copied it. How are they gonna know? No one's gonna know. <laughs> I just couldn't resist and I had to drop a meme. But in essence, this means that you're enabling regional cooperation. You ask your neighbor for help and you recognize them as a leader and you're willing to learn from them in a really open and honest way. That enables good friendships and bonds that will further develop the region. And the Balkan really needs that, but also other developing regions too. I'm grateful I created the chance to learn from the best. And even today is yet another personal appeal 
to shake up my region and invoke action. I am willing to go through these four simple steps times and times again because we cannot gatekeep science, innovation, and space exploration in this day and age. Because I know we are all equal. Because we're all human. <coughs> which means we all deserve the same opportunities, right? If we want to succeed collectively, we can't do that if the majority of us is not allowed in. If the majority of us is not having an equal playing field. Only united, we can break this constructive barrier of entry together. So, there is no voice too small. So if you're coming from a developing region, please raise it. And if you're coming from a space-leading region, there is no opportunity too insignificant. So please give it, enable it. Do the extra step for your international talent. And for all of us, let's go that extra step. Let's walk the extra mile. Let's do the extra work. Let's dream further together. Thank you.